hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel and today we're gonna see how to uh, build a chat application in less than 30 minutes yes a web chat application uh, which uh, in less than 30 minutes and first let's see what are all the text tags required so first thing would be um, HTML5 uh, and then secondly would be using CSS3 and then we would be using uh, JavaScript okay and last but not the least we would be using something called as pubnub.js JavaScript API yes so pubnub JavaScript API so let me just show it to you what I'm talking about so let me just search for pubnub what is pubnub basically so this is pubnub is a real-time chat and communication platform and this is how it looks like build better live chat so we are going to use this and build a better live chat this is a web app in less than say 30 minutes so let me give me a quick demo of how it looks so let me just show it to you I have built it on my GitLab profile GitLab profile rather so let me just show it to you on my GitLab profile I named it as, as uh, quickie so this is my GitLab profile guys um, let me show it to you so this is how it looks basically so this is the name this is just an image this is just the text the header h1 basically header h1 this is a uh, text uh, and this is how it works so um, let me show it to you on another browser so if I open Mozilla Firefox and let me just copy this and paste it here so you can see there are two different browsers and if I type in say hi this this is um, say user one and you can see it's printed over here let's see if it comes on the same app or not and you can see it's come over here as hi this is a user one we can type over here user two says hello and you can see user 3 oh, you can put it there, user 3 or user 2 says hello so same way you press it high and you hit on enter you remember it's important to hit enter and you can see the high has come so same way is like you can put special characters and it will still input it right on the browser so you can see it's working and let's build this so let's see how to go about this so first thing we'll require is some boilerplate so um, we'll just go to google.com and we'll hit HTML boilerplate code I'm a little bit lazy to write the boilerplate code so let's check something let's see where we get the boilerplate code Oh, here is the boilerplate code. So let me just copy this and let me minimize everything. We'll make a quick folder over here. We'll make a folder called My Chat App. So you can see this is the folder. We'll open the folder. We'll make a new empty file and let's name it as index.html you can see I named it as index.html you can right click it and open it in visual studio code or any of your favorite studio code editors or text editors we can just paste the boiler code you can see the doc type is html the language is english the meta chat and we'll just change the title to say my cool first web chat app 
so author let's give my name so Akash Angle and we can change the content later so description we'll put it later and the content content will put it later remember there's a link to the style sheet and we'll just name it as say as for time being say style dot css okay and we'll remove the javascript as for time being so no need of javascript we'll remove the javascript so now let's see we'll go to our explorer and we'll create a new file i'll right click over here and we can create a new file so say um we'll do one thing we'll create a new file right over here we'll create uh, say uh, style dot css boom style dot css and which we have given a style of CSS now we need to embed a little bit of uh, JavaScript code so this is our head is ready we'll modify this in some couple of minutes and our chat app will be ready within no time so you can see let's give it the content as say my cool first web chat app okay this much is enough in the head section and in the body section we'll put down a small script so let's catch up a script so we'll go to google.com we'll search for pub nub html chat and we'll just get the chat script from the particular app and here it is so we'll copy this and we'll go to index.html we'll just paste this over here so just have a look so this is an automated script and well this looks neat we're right inside the body let's check it out once again build chat apps fast this is a basic chat example the code to the left you can build real-time chat in 10 lines of javascript just copy and paste the code into your favorite text editor save it as dot html so we have done the same so no problem and accept the cookies So let me just minimize this. Looks good. So you can read the script. It's a CDN of PubNub, which is the version 4.28.2 script PubNub. So this is a JavaScript. I do recommend to learn JavaScript. We need to install our publisher key and the subscriber key over here so let me just remove that okay and before we proceed let's see how this looks so let me just hit on control s so let's hit on save and let's go over here and let's open this say in firefox and this is how it looks so there's no CSS or anything as for time being this is how simple our chat app looks but we need to modify this much more further so let's go to our index.html and let's start adding something inside the body so inside the body um, let me type uh, something in bold so strong and let me put it in the center to make it responsive so 
let me just type put it in the center and let me say do a bit mm, my first chat app hmm, sounds good and let me put this under say h2 just bear with me so let me just cut this piece of code and put it right here and let me just okay so I to center and let me hit here with a strong okay we'll go to the next line to embed a image so let's type in center and we'll give it a image source that's it for now we'll just write more We'll write the H1 as vanilla JS based chat system made by Akash Angle in say Navi Mumbai okay and we'll just close the tag and we'll go over here we can add something stupid probably like stup stupidly designed for simplicity in mind and at the chat output at the chat input we can type a para and uh, chat below and hit enter to send So you can see it's a paragraph. So we can remove this. And no need of this div also. I 
let me save this and let's check it out so it's much better as you can see it has been improved quite a lot okay so now let's do let's play with the CSS and before that we need to enter the publisher key and the subscriber key so how to do it so we can log in on the PubNub page I'm logging via Google so let's create an app apps let's create an app let's name it my first chat app create you can see these are the keys we hit on the keys my first app okay just go wait a minute my first chat app okay these are the keys and this is free so we hit on publisher key so this is the publisher key I copy this I go to my index.html I, I paste it over here I go to subscriber key now I copy the subscriber key I go over here and I paste my subscriber key alright let's see if anything else is remaining nothing uh, let's go to our let's save this first and let's go to our say CSS file so let's open this in Visual Studio Code we need to write the CSS so let's write CSS for that so we'll target body and let's write background color as say let's select the color so for color I prefer color hunt dot io let's go to color hunt um, I think I think this is a nice color so let's go to this color and let's copy it let's go to reader studio code and paste the hex code sweet let's give it as a padding of say zero pixel um, margin of zero pixel let's give it a border of again zero pixel okay now let's go to our let's see where is our input so let's see we'll be targeting our input so we'll be targeting this input so let's go to CSS and let's write input and then let's open the bracket and let's write something for the input let's write position as relative we'll give it as margin as auto we'll give margin as auto uh, position would be relative 
margin as auto let's give it this width of say 345 pixels a height of say 50 pixels looks good and top separation container of 10 pixels and let's keep some distance of say again 10 pixels sweet looks good so we have margin we have width we have height we have top and left okay let's save this and now let's look let's see how it looks so we'll open this in chrome wow it looks beautiful now we just need to add an image over here so what i'll do is i'll go to github.com and i'll go to my profile wikipedia copy the link address copy image address go over here go to the particular section wherein we need to embed the source image and we'll paste this over here looks good hit on save and let's see how it looks now brilliant so we just need to fix this chat output I think it's better if we inspect this as an element. So we need to give some breaks. BR as in break. So let's check it out. This looks good. And what we'll do is we'll just add a BR and one more BR. And let's check now beautiful beautiful so as you can see our chat app is ready now it's time to upload on github so let's go to github let me just sign in quickly let me make a new repository called simple chat app let me make this public we'll add a readme repository and no need to add a license so create a repository so here it is so let's add a file let's create a new file or we will upload a file so we'll go to a folder we'll just pick this one up and we'll just upload it we just check it once again as everything is okay everything looks okay and we'll go for this is my final commit and boom now you need to go to settings you need to go to your github pages 
over here go to select main root save that's it wait for some time and it will load so let's see let's check our code it's just 62 lines of code in HTML and 15 lines of code in CSS with additionally adding 10 lines of code of JavaScript that's from line number 29 to line number 59 so that makes around 20 lines of code 30 lines of code yes we have achieved a chat application which is going to go online pretty soon and let's check it out and boom it's online yes it's online you can see it's it's online on the web on the web now let's open the same thing on our firefox browser and let's see if this is working or not let me put this side by side and let me just let me show it to you so if I type on say hi you can see the hi is immediately sent over here if I send here hello you can see the hello over here user one says this is amazing you can see user one says this is amazing then over here user two says bravo you can see this user two says bravo so that's it for now thank you for watching goodbye